There's so many issues we need to look at in a women's game which are not right. So my first priority would not even be necessarily have the same price money. It would be uh, give them the same infrastructure, the same environment, the same opportunities, uh, the same professional treatment. It's too simple to reduce everything on price money. Generally speaking, the female players do not ask for equal pay. They know that a Ronaldo or a Messi or you know a Harry Keane has a different salary, and they do not want the exact same salary. However, if there is like limitations to how a player can perform, how she can um, create her living, how she can concentrate on football as her profession, not worrying about uh, not having enough money to live or to have a proper nutrition and all of that, female elite players nowadays more or less do exactly the same as their male counterparts in terms of World Cups, Champions League, league matches, cup matches, a training environment, number of trainings. Why do they not have equal access to pitches? Why do they not get enough support? Why do female elite athletes not get the same treatment as male elite athletes? And if you're under 16, a boys team is more important than your uh, women's top elite team with players who go to women's Euro, women's championship, uh, FIFA, women's World Cups. You know, then I, I really think seriously we have a cultural problem. It's, it's nothing else than that. The culture in the decision-making bodies is not there yet to fully include women's football. I really think we should focus on changing the culture in all the football associations globally. I would hope FIFA insists more on creating global standards, governance, rules within every association that they do have to treat women's football properly, professionally, with high values. Um, there's things around injuries, there's things around discrimination, sexism, uh, so many bad things which are known. And I would really hope we get to a point where the decision makers keep an eye on that, those things. And my hope would be to include more women's football ex experts in all those decision-making bodies, because then you will probably be much closer to do the right thing at the right time with the right investment. There has been steps in the right direction, but I still think not, not fast enough and not the right ones. Uh, in women's football, I feel like it's always a little bit a drop of water on a hot stone. It's like, you know, women's football gets only so much water that it's not dying, but it's not really growing.